Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from PowerCon 2012, and I am standing here with Mr. Brian T. Stevenson of Spy Monkey Creations. How are you, sir? I'm wonderful. We've been hey. having a great weekend. That's fantastic. And I, I know that you have some incredible things here that you are revealing for the first time. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, we are revealing our very first foray into action figures. Everybody knows us for the accessories, the swords, the shields, the bread you know the toast store you know it's like right. all the stuff we've done in resin you know last year we we moved on to the all um modular glios compatible armory sets right which are very very cool incredible stuff Thank if you, you guys haven't Thank seen you. those yet and what we wanted to do was kind of build a, a, a cohesive toy line around the weapons and so we came up with the weaponeers of monka um, and it's kind of a play on Spy Monkey. Instead of calling them, you know, the, the Weaponeers of Monkey, we decided right. to change Monka. So there's a little bit. And Monka is the dimension that the characters in our world come from. They're battling shadow and light. We have two factions, the good guys, which are called the Giro, and the bad guys, which are called the Vilhain. So hero and villain, you know, very, nice. very simple. I see what you did there. See what we did yeah. there? Wasn't that, that's clever. That's a good idea. That was my idea. <laughs> Uh, and they're going to credit me for that. You're but You're the smart one of the I group. The it's one. obvious. You have all the brains and the beauty. Um, uh, but <laughs> so uh, we wanted we wanted to kind of um, tap into what makes forty year old guys like you and me. And you know, it's like, well, you're not. You're you're just you just turned thirty. I just turned thirty. Come on, baby. Compared to the rest, don't of us add old. ten years yeah, onto yeah, this yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, but but you know what? What makes us all love these toys? You know, the nostalgia is what makes us still collect the toys. Why do we still go ape over these? Masters of the Universe classics. It's because of the nostalgia of remembering, of walking into the store Absolutely. and seeing a new guy. Who's this new guy on the Absolutely. show? Absolutely. Right. So we wanted to kind of tap into all of that 80s nostalgia. And, and if you look at our figures, everybody that walks up to the table has been like, that reminds me of Voltron. That reminds me of Transformers. That reminds me of yep. the Centurions. That reminds me of Star Wars. That reminds me of He-Man. That reminds me of Battle Beasts. It's like, so we took little elements from everything and kind of stuck them in a nice little bowl, mixed them all up and started sculpting and, and, and sketching and we came up with this new world uh, that has some nostalgia factor but it's a brand new property um, that we got to create, we own it so there's no licensing or anything right. that we have to worry about so you know we're able to um, because we do everything from the sculpting to the um, production to the I mean we don't do the production, we actually have a, 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 a factory that takes care of that but it, it allows us to control the burn Right. kind of thing you know right. it's like and we do all the shipping we do all the packing we do all of our own promotion everything like that and we're fans ourselves we literally are you know it, mired into it with everybody else we Absolutely. get our figures every month like everyone right. we open them you know we have the same triumphs and tragedies that everybody else does when a new figure comes out and um it, you know that feeling is something that we just we wanted to share with everybody you know and so we've created this toy line and you know we want spy monkey creations to thrive and, and prosper. And in order to do that, we kind of had to get away from being, you know, on the coattails of other toy lines. So right. we were like, well, why not? Why not make some figures? That, do our own yeah, thing. Do our own thing, you know, you and, 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 and write the story to where, you know, this stuff still works with your Transformers and your He-Man and your, you know, um, your Thundercats and anything else you want to put it with. And basically, these little dudes are the ones that delivered the weapons to all those other universes. Uh -huh. They traveled to Eternia. They Very traveled cool. to, you know, Cybertron. They traveled to Thundera or Third Earth and dropped all this stuff off. So, you know, it's that, that's cool. kind of the kind of the concept. So Very neat. So you got some of these guys here. Yes, we do. Can we, we take do. a look at them? Absolutely. Absolutely. What we have here are, this is our entire lineup. We have, we have four main characters. And then we have two army builders. So we have um, the leader of the Giro is Imperius. The leader of the Vilhain is his evil brother Umbrius. Then we have uh, Paladar, who is the general of the, the Giro armies, and Brutok, who is the you know kind of the counterpart to um, to Paladar, and he's the general of the Vilhain hordes. Okay. And then we have Golem, and the Golem are. Ma the, for this wave, we have Magma Golem and Crystal Golem, and the, the, the thought behind the Golem is they're protoforms, you know, so they're, they're, all, they're childlike when they're created, and they're created when they, they absorb the elements of, of, the, of the dimension of Monka, mm -hmm. and they take on the properties physically 
of the different elements that the heart stone lands in. So these heart stones crop up all over the all over the planet. If it's in granite, you have granite golems. If it falls in oh, magma, cool. you have granite. If it falls in crystal, you have crystal golems. If it falls in obsidian, you have obsidian golems. So the golems will continue to do, you know, and we've got new characters that will also come out, new Giro and new Vilhain to build the ranks, you know, of the 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 face characters. Right. You know, but then there's also these army builders and the the, the thought behind it is they're all they're all reconfigurable and they're all buildable. Now the thing is you don't know if your golem when he's born is Vilhain or Giro. Aha. And you can choose as as he matures and grows in the world of Munka, he chooses his own, his own path. You know, some elements have a, procl- a proclivity to be one or the other, right. but eventually, you know, they all kind of figure out, you know, who they're going to be. And if you read our story, The Stranger's Tale, you can kind of see some of that play out a little bit with our crystal golem, um, yeah, who, who joins Imperius and, and Paladar to go and retrieve the stranger. And the stranger is the fan. That is you very, know, that's okay. kind of how we wrote that story. Very it's like cool. the stranger is you. So, so they've got like uh, these little chest plates that yes. have like the Giro and the Vilhain yeah. symbols on them. Yeah. And these chest plates are, are removable. removable. Yeah, so yeah. you can swap out and decide which team you're going to put yeah. these guys on. Yeah. That and is the, really cool. The figures are completely they're completely uh, modular, just like our weapon sets. They all work with Glyos, so they're compatible with O'Neill Designs Glyos uh, action figures. They're compatible with the Outer Spacemen uh, from the Four Horsemen. And so, you know, we kind of do this whole, you know, cross compatibility and which everything, is, and we all kind of help each other. I mean, out. anybody so, that's already into those lines, I mean, this just adds even more creativity, yeah. and you can do all that mishmashing and building yeah, yeah. and creating your own figures. And those have been, you know, traditionally smaller figures, uh-huh. you know, and we've done bulky build it up you know so it's like i like got that some, we've got some big uh, bi- some big figures and you they kind of have that 80s feel to them because yeah, yeah. they got that chunkiness yeah, you know yeah. they're and squat the, and they're yeah. bulky and yeah, 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 yeah they really have that vintage feel yeah, exactly and that, that's that's you know that's what we were, we were shooting that's for. that's fantastic and, you know you can do you can re- reconfigure them any way you want uh and, and bashing two figures together we have this right here uh these destroyers that i built uh, this is a combination of a brutok and an umbrius um, and then one of our close combat armory sets. And our close combat armory sets are, we, people were asking for daggers and pistols and shorter blades and stuff like that. So we went ahead and made some that, that are in perfect scale for the weaponeers of Mon Ka, But then they also work, you know, with your Masters of the Universe figures. Very nice. So, you know, there's there's a, some some build out stuff, you know, and they'll work with Transformers and they'll work with Thundercats and everything. Right. So they're in nice scale to that. And they're completely compatible. And we also redesigned the Dominar handle. So our Dominar handle, you know, how if, it, if you got a real heavy build on it, it would droop because of the length of the handle. Right. So we kind of choked it up. And the, there's two of these included with the, with the uh, close combat. And so now it's like you can see, like, how the handle is real choked up on his hand there. And you can really weight those down wow. now. And the leverage isn't there to make them droop make or them everything. Droop. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, awesome. And we, we've run most of them in the same colors that the original armories come in. And you'll see, you'll see a, lot of the, a lot of the same colors within the Weaponeers as well. Fantastic. So, and, and just like you were talking about earlier, I'm looking at these guys and you can see all of these little things about these guys that kind of makes them look like little bits and pieces were taken from all these different popular toy lines. I mean, you know, you're looking at the guy here. He's got a very Skeletor kind of look to him. Well, the helmet, you, you know, the shape of his helmet, it's, kind it's of also Megatron. a very Megatron yeah, look. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so you got you got your Masters influence. You got your Transformers influence. You know, the leader of the Giros, very Transformers looking here in the front. You know, you got the kind of the Constructor Con color scheme going on yeah. here at the green and the purple. Well, um, the magma and the crystal are very much a a, a homage to Crystar. Crystar. You know, very. Like, yes. The, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you know that's why we kind of you know I mean there's just because we we're, we're, we bought those lines as kids and we collect them and some of them still have our original collections and it's like so we sit and look at that stuff and it just kind of you know uh, there really hasn't been a new thing come out right. in a while you know that really kind of plays on that real heavy duty boys action you know and and that's what we want to do and the great thing has been the little kids walking up the little oh, kids walking yeah. up and picking these things up and getting them in their hands and like daddy do i have enough for this it's just been i mean it's just melts that's your heart i mean it's awesome. been awesome so and they're just like oh, i mean and they're yeah. bright and they're colorful yeah. i mean i can totally see those just really appealing to kids too yeah so. yeah they've been digging them so that's 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 that's, that's, awesome. that's been the most fun part of this weekend so you debuted them here at the show yeah, and you're true. selling them here at the show yeah. Yeah. so for anybody that's not here with us why don't you tell them how they can acquire some of these awesome figures uh, we're actually going to um, drop our first our first wave um, on October 1st 
which is the Monday, not not tomorrow, but the Monday following the convention. Okay. And uh, just like our normal drops, it'll be at 12, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So um, that's California, you know, West Coast right. time. So um, we'll uh, we'll drop then. Um, figures will go for twelve dollars a piece. Okay. Um, then the uh, the close combat armory is five a piece, and it comes in all six colorways that the figures are available in. We're also doing a head pack for five dollars. That's you know alternate. It's it's like a red Brutok oh, head. Oh, okay, like different colors. Yeah, different colors of the same characters. Sweet. Um, and you know, if you, I mean, if you look at this, the face of the golem is actually a fist. Yes. You know, and then you yes. have you have like the the blaster is Paladar's head, and the big the big. You know, Mace is Brutok's head. So, you know, when you buy certain characters, you can actually build them in any color you want, right. you know, depending on the character you want. Um, and then the other thing that we're doing is our original Armory series. We're all dropping those from a normal $20 to $15. And that's going to be the normal price for the oh, Armory. very going cool. Forward is $15 a, a, a piece, you know. just And that's in celebration, you know. It's like we've been very, very successful with the Armories. We want to continue to offer those, you know. Um, we've had a lot of people, you know, be really responsive to the new price. And you know, so and and we'd like to get more of those into people's hands. And it's, you know, I think we, we think bringing the price down, you know, is, is, a, is a nice thank you to people. And when they come in and, you know, if they're going to want everything you know of the the weaponeers we want to make sure that it's also affordable for them to get in and get some get some armory sets as well right. so fantastic awesome and what's the uh, web address that people uh, can find these at you can actually get these through our normal website the mm -hmm. store that's at, at uh, www.spymonkeycreations.com and if you want to learn more about the weaponeers of monka you can go to www.weaponeersofmonka.com and that's actually monka with two a's so two it's m-o-n-k-a-a -A. okay and you can check out either and there's a link from each site to the other so okay. whichever one you start out on and you can always look us up on facebook and there'll always be links to the waste the, to the to the to the website on our Facebook page. All right, fantastic. Well, Brian, you got pretty incredible looking stuff here. I'm very excited Thanks, for man. it. I'm sure everybody else is just as excited. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been great. Man. Awesome, and enjoy the rest of your time Thank at PowerCon. You. Reporting from PowerCon 2012, this is Pixel Dan. Bye-bye.